Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's snapshot. Today we're going to be talking about the gold pullback and how to trade it. But before we do that, please take note of the following important information. Please note that CFDs are high-risk products and that you should be completely aware of the risks that they pose. Also note that this is a general market commentary only and does not constitute investment advice. And finally, these are our sources of information. Now, we note that since January, since January, gold and the US dollar have been moving in a negative correlation to one another. Rising yields seem to be driving this with the tenure currently at 1.19%. Just bringing up the charts and going through to our correlation, you can see that this is gold moving in a southeasterly direction. And here is the dollar moving in a northeasterly direction. Now, going through to our daily ishimoku i just want to draw your attention to the fact that the orange lagging line is below price and the forward cloud has twisted negative what we're watching for now is to see if the black lagging line does move below the cloud as well you can you can already see it's starting to uh, step down here now we'll go through to our hourly chart and you can see that gold has rallied all the way to the r1 pivot what we're going to do is assess and see if this is compelling to short sellers. We want to see if the EMAs roll over and turn bearish. Does the stochastic move southwards towards the lower quintile? And if those two things happen, then it's quite likely that the RSI dips below 50 into the bearish side of the oscillator. Let's just end off with some key takeaways. And the US dollar and gold are responding to rising yields by moving inversely to one another. On the daily, Gold's lagging line is below price and the Ford cloud has turned negative. And now we are assessing the hourly to see if the current rally will be compelling to shorts. I hope you found this snapshot useful. If you did, please click on that subscribe button. I look forward to speaking with you again in the near future.